okay so time to talk about our third visual and that is going to be kpi so let us select kpi from this visualization pane and now you have a blank canvas here for the kpi where you can enter your values by the way you could simply copy and paste the previous visual and simply make the changes uh, you could simply select the visualization then and you know your filters like sales could simply be imported from the previous visual but uh, never mind we can do that right from the scratch as well so you know now that we have selected this matrix you will notice that we have three options now we can enter three different kind of parameters here we have an indicator and then we have a trend and then we have a target goal so with the goal you will understand definitely that this kpi in fact the kpi words tell the same thing that we will be evaluating a value against a benchmark in fact we are not going to do that evaluation against the benchmark right now i'm just just going to show you the basic behavior of this visual and later on in this course we will learn how to use this as a benchmark as well so first of all in the indicator what i want to present is i want to present my values so i will go to gl and i will bring in the amount and then in the trend axis i want to bring in the date i want to see the trend over time so i want to bring in the date i will go to calendar and i will bring in the date and you will notice that no value is appearing here right now you will need to do a small fix for that and for that just click on this drop down and click on the date hierarchy and now you will see a value now this value might be very strange for you because you know and this is not something we were expecting this value is this value shows everything from our gl right so we need to apply some kind of filter so let us apply a filter here and in that filter i want to tell bi that please only present sales and if i go to chart of accounts that sales level was available on this subclass i hope you remember that by now so i'm gonna bring in the subclass here into the filters and i'm gonna say please select sales and now you have done that please notice something uh, let us compare this value against the PL. and did you notice something this time the value here is not total for to date this is not the total sales all to date combined all three years combined together this is only the value of this recent year that is 2020 so this is the standard behavior of this visual that this visual is only going to bring in the the the, the value for that particular period so we have to keep that thing in mind when we are using these visuals that what is the standard behavior so that we can control the behavior accordingly what that means is if we are working on pnl and we want to see the for the period value we should be using the kpi right but if you want to if you're working on balance sheet and you want to see a value that should be total of all of them you could use that card as well so that depends that what you are trying to achieve so and one more thing that you will notice is that there is a background line and what that background line is showing you if i can take you back to my sales chart that was that we have made earlier in this course you will notice that the sales trend was also the same as a straight line so this background line is basically showing you the sales trend over the time okay so just small fixes that we need to do before we finish this lecture and that is do some formatting so first of all let me reduce the font size here so i will go to this indicator option here and in this indicator option i'm going to in reduce the font size from 45 to 30 and then let me reduce this box size as well and let me change the title here as well so i will go back and change the title from this one to amount it is not amount this is sales ftp now what is ftp ftp is for the period this is my term but please uh, get familiar with that because we are going to use this term quite a lot of times in this course and uh, you know this will be making much more sense so sales ftp sales for the period and uh, i would like to give this uh, this title a little decent uh, background as well and i will make that centrally aligned and i would like to change the font for that from this one to calibri so i think this is now in my standard style so i will bring that in closer and now i would like to show you something that we are not going to work on right now but we need to work uh, i need to show you so there will be formatting options for the goals and for the color coding so the color that you are seeing at the background 
this color can be adjusted that if you achieve your kpi the color should be green or if you do not that should be red or if you you know somewhat achieve that that should be a yellow since we have not given any goal at this particular moment uh, i cannot do that because uh, we need to use some advanced decks for that so i will skip that part for now but once we do this part once we use these options you know my uh, kpi is going to be very beautiful and it will make a very decent impression on our dashboard so with now i will just do one more thing and that is i will go back to my card and i will also change the title for that now so rather than calling that just sales revenue I will call that sales revenue TTD and with TTD I will mean total to date so sales revenue TTD that is total to date which means all the years compiled together that is the sales revenue that is till to till this particular date again please get familiar with this term because we are going to use that so many times in this course.